I'm Christina with Tina Girl Life. Growing up, I grew up with a mum who's Finnish and my dad who's Swedish. My mum, being the primary cook in the family, cooked a lot of Finnish food. And I really grew to love a lot of that food and I really miss a lot of it. So today I'm going to show you how to make something called lapapuro or vispipuro, which is actually probably what it's called. Um, I, I've seen a few videos of people making vispipuro and usually they all start out with blueberries or with cranberries and I don't have any fresh blueberries or cranberries so I'm going to show you how we always made it at home. So we're going to use cream of wheat. Now cream of wheat is actually a brand name. It's actually Farina, um, Farina wheat and um, you can find that in your local grocery store. I noticed a lot of other um, people making Vispipuro uh, used semolina, and, um, but I don't have that, so and this is what I grew up with, so we're going to make it using cream of wheat. So the other thing that you're going to want, it's such a simple recipe, is some kind of juice. I really like the red juices, and I like something that's a little bit tart, so cranberry juice um, is what I usually use. However, I don't feel like opening up a four liter jug of juice today. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to put that aside for another time. I want to use this blueberry pomegranate, which works just great. So for my recipe, we're going to start out with um, a liter of juice and I'm just going to pour that right into my pot. So this was a wonderful treat to come home to. Um, it's kind of a dessert. Well, it is a dessert. Um, my kids grew up eating it also for breakfast. They really loved that. And it's actually a really nice variation of a porridge that can actually be served as a, as a dessert. And I'll show you that later. So there's a few steps involved in this. So we start by boiling the juice. So let's get started on that. We're gonna start by bringing the juice to a boil or a near boil before adding the cream of wheat. I'm gonna follow the same directions that are on the box as if I was making cream of wheat with milk or water. So for four cups of liquid, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of cream of wheat. We'll just wait for the juice to come to a boil before adding the cream of wheat. You wanna be ready with a whisk right away so you won't end up with hard little clumps. Okay, our juice is boiling, and now we're going to add the cream of wheat. So we have three quarters of a cup of cream of wheat to a, a liter of juice, and we're just gonna stir that for about three minutes until it thickens. So it's starting to thicken up quickly. I'll give that a couple of more minutes. And then we're going to take it off the heat and let it cool. Okay, as you can see, it's gotten quite thick. It's like molten. That's okay. It's a nice deep red color. And it's just about done. I would say at this point, I would turn the heat off now. We've been whipping this for about three minutes. Um, and boiling it up here. So I'm going to take it off the heat now. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit on my stove for a few hours just to cool before we do the last step. And the last step is just to whip the cooled porridge until it's kind of fluffy and the color turns a little more pale. Okay, we whipped it up nice and fluffy and now I'm going to put it into a bowl that I can put into the fridge and we'll serve it up later when it's nice and cold. There's lots of air that's been whipped into it so I can tell this is going to be delicious. Here, I'll turn this way so you can see what it looks like as it's coming out. Awesome. I'll show it to you when it's ready. 
Okay, so the Vispipuro has been in the fridge for a couple of hours, so it's nice and cold now, and it looks light and fluffy. You can kind of see how it jiggles when I wiggle it like that. And oh yeah, this looks amazing. I'm just gonna have a little taste of that. So I put a little sprinkling of sugar on it. I like that texture, and um, it just sort of brings out that more of a dessert feel to it. Um, yeah, it's delicious. I hope you try it. Please leave a little message for me in the comments below of how you make your Vispipuro. Thank you so much for watching Tina Girl Life. Subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time.